Have you ever seen a couple that's obviously in love? Hi there, I'm Natty Anderson, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. Just a few days ago, October 19th was Sweetest Day. It's like a mini Valentine's Day if you don't know, and I think a lot of people often forget about it. But it's just one of those holidays where we get to celebrate people we love. And love is one of the most powerful, maybe the most powerful thing in the world. And that's what today's Devo is all about. It's called Divine Love by Morgan Mitchell. Have you ever seen a couple that's obviously in love? They're always together or trying to be together. They'll crack jokes, help each other with tasks, and compliment each other's appearance or talents. Even when they're not together, they text or call, doing everything they can to connect. If things are serious, they might buy each other flowers or other gifts. In short, they do everything they can to tell each other, you're special, I love you, you mean the world to me. God is the same way with us. While He loves us with an ultimate love that surpasses any romantic relationship, He uses many of the same ways romantic couples use to tell us He loves us. He places blessings in our lives. He is always there with a listening ear whenever we want to talk to Him, and He's always trying to communicate with us. He is faithful to us and encourages us as we go through life. We might be tempted to think God's love is a passive love or even a forced love that only comes from some kind of obligation, but it's the opposite. It's a love that pursues us, never gives up on us, and chooses us no matter what we do or don't do. This love moved Jesus to die on the cross and make the way for us to be saved and live forever with Him. It gives us countless fresh starts. It provides a way to escape temptation, and it also provides forgiveness. In other words, every act of God is motivated by love, even when it doesn't seem like it. In every moment of our lives, He is trying to show us His love for us. So let's talk about this a little bit more together. Have you ever thought about the way God loves us as similar to the way a romantic couple loves each other? Throughout the Bible, God often compares himself to a groom or husband, and he calls his people his bride or wife. For example, Ephesians 5.25 says, Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. How is the relationship God wants to have with us similar to the relationship between a loving husband and wife? How is it different? In what ways has God shown you His love recently? Can you recall a time you felt God's love in a personal way? If nothing comes to mind, you can ask God to reveal His love to you anytime. As you and I can read in 1 John 4, 16, And we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and the one who remains in love remains in God, and God remains in him. Now, I'd encourage you to read in your Bible, Psalms 36, 7, as well as 42, 8, Hosea 2, 14 through 23, as well as Ephesians 3, 17 through 19 to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries. Do you love Unlocked? Do you wish you could take written notes or highlight or underline certain parts of your devos? Well, you can. Head over to unlocked.org to find out how you can receive our printed devotions for free today. Also, be sure to check back for tomorrow's devotion with Dylan. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.